Greetings and welcome to Banana Viking Server Minecraft Edition. Uh, let's just drop down here. I need to put a roof up here at some point because I keep just jumping down there and off the edges. But anyway, that's second floor. That's a, that's a later job. That's, that's for a later person. Uh, we've been doing a lot of mining down below the land and we have four stacks of iron and four pieces and almost a stack of gold, which is pretty good. I would have preferred more diamonds, but I did get like 16 diamonds, but they're downstairs in the, uh, in, in the mine down there. But I can't both go down and get them because I don't really need them today. Today we're gonna do two things. One, I'm gonna start building on. Thank you. I'm gonna start building on a storage area over there. But I also want to make sure these doors, when they open, when we come up here and we go, both doors open, not just one. Now Miss Washington's been bugging me to do this for a little while, so let's get this done, shall we? Oh, where's my axe? Axe. Go there. Don't need a pickaxe on my hotbar right now. Let's remove you. Remove you. Thank you. Uh, we want to remove you and you, you and you, because you're the ones I need to get to, and then I'm going to need a spade for the stoning of the red. Move that out so I can get back up and down with easy enough. Let's make sure I'm not going to kill myself in the process. I am if I don't pay attention, so I'll put that there for a moment while I run away and get myself a very nice bit of redstone. It will be in that one. Uh, I'm going to need probably more than that, but let's try without breaking the box open, shall we? Right, so uh, I'm going to want you there, you there. Uh, I don't know if I need to put in a. Wait, wait, so. If I need to put in a, a repeater to push it into something. Let's test this out. Go away. Up, uh, up. Oh, oh. Put you there for a moment, so I can put a pressure pad here just as a test one. Okay, that didn't trigger the doors. I kind of didn't expect it to, but I wasn't sure if we'd be able to trigger them that way. Now, <clears throat> based on that, uh, there are any buttons on me? They're on the other side of the door. How would we get those boxes to be powered? I think it needs to go into those, so we need to go a bit wider, maybe. Uh, the outside world can't see them. Because they are below land. Okay, they were designed pretty much for us, so we can remove those. And break that. And we might have to go wider, just to make sure it goes up to get there. Uh, oop, spade. Okay, efficiency is getting a little bit annoying. Uh, break. Yeah, I'm going to need more redstone. Need more redstone. Give me... Well, there's a lone block right there. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Alright, let's try this one. Uh, you would go... Oh, you'd go there, 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 but without going there. So break that. Pop it there. Break that so we can get out. Pop the pressure pad just there. Okay, nice and simple. Good to know. Break. And dig that one. That one, that one, that one. Refilling the ones we missed, we removed by accident. So remove that one, and that one can get under here. Good, good, good. You need to be refilled with dirt. Thank you. Wow, I got grass pretty quickly there. And that one. Redstone, not there. But redstone needs to go there, 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 there. You two aren't actually needed with redstone. The pressure plates will be above you, so you do need to be redstone. Up. Right, so first thing, if I put the blocks back on here, and let's use. Okay, then that's Let's put you there and there, put you there and there. Alright, half the battle is done. Half the battle is done. Now the other half the battle. I might need to put those lower down, the buttons. Yep. I kind of like the ones being a bit higher, but I just don't think they're going to work higher. Because I don't think you can push signal through two blocks, especially with nothing around to transmit the signal down. So, there we go. A double door for convenience. It is the convenience. On the way out, it's not a problem. Pressure plate straight through the door. On the way in, however, you got to aim for that gap up the button. All right. Let's get ourselves some uh, resources. So, we're going to need. We need a lot of uh, concrete, 
for the mid stage. But the first stage, I think we just run out there and we put down some uh, markers. Now, what do we need for markers? I have a lot of cobblestone, but I also have a pickaxe. A spade. No, because I don't end, end up damaging the ground too much. Let's take the let's take the cobblestone and use. Oops, that's andesite. Take the take the cobblestone from markers. Just so we get the placement down, and we can also remove it relatively easily. Uh, and then we'll be we'll be okay. Uh, let's also check what time of day it is. I need to get a, comp a cock up and running so I can see what time of day it is. Midday. Okay, we're good. Uh, right. So now where? Now what I want to do? I want to have coming out of the doorway like that. Uh, I want anywhere going out to have at least like a six wide. So what you'll have is a little bit of grass or something from edging, then edge of a path, then two squares off the path, edge of the path, edging, building. So you want like at least a six in any direction between buildings. So we'll go, so that'll be like that, that'll be the edging. Uh, so that'll be your path there. Let me just output that so we've got this path this way. That will be your path. Now whether or not, thank you. Yeah, see, don't do that. Don't, don't. Why would you, why would you do that? Why would you even take the torch off the hopper? Right, so that's kind of the path we're going to be using. Going that way. Now, I want the storage to be away, but not so far away that it causes a problem. Uh, these trees will have to go, because they're in the way. Um, and obviously this wants to go, let's just actually just make a path up to the mine. Now, I will be replacing the path with, uh, like a ruined land, but for now I'm just going to make a solid path. Thank you. And also, you. Like that. This solid path is just a straight line for me to deal with. I need to get an iron uh, spade up and running. There we go. So we have a bit of a path. You can come out, you can go that way. We can boop, boop that. You can go that way. Like that. That is a mistake, but that's just, that's just that. So what we can do here is go... Fake it. Like that. Pop down. Because it's really edging. So if this can just be like a cobblestone line, for example. Like that. It's not going to be cobblestone, but I'm leaving it there for a moment. Maybe that one. So the path, you'll have a path and you'll have a line. Now, I don't know what the line will be yet. It won't be cobblestone. No. It might be cobblestone if we intermix it with some other materials like normal stone or a bit of andesite or something just to break it up. But you'll have like that, that side, you'll have that, that side. And you'll have a, a path in the middle. Let's see. I want the entrance to be back here. So we say we'll have a a double wide entrance. Double wide entrance for a storage system? Yeah, we can do the same thing we did at the other door. We put a double door with the buttons and the pressure plates and stuff for the entrance. Boom. In. Um, then I want this building to come back a bit. And get a spade because I want to be, again, this is going to be sunk into the ground a little bit. So we can build onto the dirt. It wouldn't be an issue. So here, if we go... I like these as like as edgings, and then these as main builds, and these as like highlights because it makes things really nice. So here is where the main entrance is going to be. So if we go uh, slab there and there, so like they they, they make a nice entrance because it's going to be the edge of the path. Grab yeah, so it's going to be the the very this is the edge of the building. Uh, so we go. You can go away. There we go. Right. So we then come on here and say, okay, this building here is going to be two stone bricks there. Going up. So you've got this entrance, double door, button, button, pressure plates this side. Normal. The normal sort of stick. Then in the middle here, we'll go with pressure plate, uh, pressure plates, with slabs just to lure you in. Because I want this floor to be a nice bright floor on the inside. Now, uh, can we have, whoop, there we go, there we go, that's going to be the doorway, nice and simple, archway door with this stuff, because we put the door in there, perfect. There's no point putting doors and stuff in yet, because we're not going to be able to secure this for a while. Um, right, so that's that, uh, I won't bother putting the redstone in place, we'll just get that prepped and ready to make sure I'm not going to kill myself while I'm doing stuff, why am I doing that anyway? It's daytime and I'm only working during the day, get that off the screen as well. Okay, so that comes in, and I want at least two levels of glass. Is there any glass on me? No, I'll get some glass on this when we go back when we sleep. We'll get some glass. Uh, then we go here, 
I want to go to there, then I want a I want a pillar of these going up. And these will be two either side. Like that. Did I put five on that side? Four, good. And we'll have these sort of there and then we'll cut around this side a little bit. I don't want to go too big on the entrance, but I want the entrance to be nice and impressive looking as a storage area. Uh, that's that, that's that. That'll be that'll be glass. So I want the bottom here. Should we do bottom in cobbling? No, let's do the bottom in, in stone brick. Like that. So you have glass there going up probably three high. And I want these to be going up. Um, yeah. All that. That's, that's enough as well. I need to get the. Uh, food off my hot bar, but it's just so convenient to have it there sometimes. There we go, that's a one and a half blocks for the entrancey bit. It's going to be a bit flat initially, but I'm going to bulk this piece out with, uh, oh, maybe with parchment, I don't know. Um, but it's going to be bulked out a little bit. Um, so I want this entrance to be bulked. Let me go in here. Too. All right, we have glass panes put in the window here. Um, after the glass pane goes in, I want the window, I want the building to start curving back pretty sharply, but I want these in. I don't know this. I don't know what I'm going to put here. That's a problem. I might just edge it with these stone slabs to make it look nice. Uh, put you there. Put you there. This entrance will be clear glass, but I think the rest of the glass inside the building will be will be uh, coloured. So it'll look nicer for storage area. So you're in the storage area here. And you look out. You can see outside the world to see if it's safe to step outside, which is always a good idea when you're coming out because you know. Things try to kill you when you're inside when you're doing stuff. Uh, so that's that, and then here I think yeah we're going to sort of edge this temporarily with stone slabs, unless we find a better material like a, a, a coloured concrete or something. We'll we'll know more once we get the uh, once we get the section for uh, for for what colour code is going to be like on the entrance. But anyway, that's at the entrance door. Uh, you're going to need to be. Annoying. Good, you figure that out yourself. Give me some dirt so we can climb up and scaffold. 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 Right. And then boop, boop. And then boop, boop. There. And then boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And then here, like, I'm going to switch over to a bit of polished granite. Little uh, lintel highlight. I kind of like the lintel highlights or stuff. Like that. There you go. Yeah. So we'll, I want to make that maybe a bit taller there and put something in the middle of it. So uh, it'll it'll come out quite nice at the end. All right. Let's start the curing back process to here. I want this area to be moderately large. <coughs> um, all right. Moderate moderately large. So. Uh, how big should we the inside be? One, two, three. How big is it currently, actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Oh, that's a nice, nice number. Okay, ten. Now, if we go back ten, then including this one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we did that, and that's the end block, right there. Then we've got a nice 10 by 10 room, but we have to curve the edges because I don't want it to be a square. Um, so it'll curve out a bit more, but it will be quite large. And it'll have like an intermediate storage area for like junk stuff and just dumping stuff. Yes. Yeah. Alright, uh, I will use a lot of stone, but I need to stone slab areas just to uh, bump this up a bit. Alright, so the first place to do this is to start going back there. The thing is, I keep hearing like doors. They're kind of annoying because if you hear a door, it's like something must have opened it, but the village is miles away. Hmm. Okay, so you're there, up you go, you come around, back to then there. And then put you down to the ground here, so it looks like the building is actually in the foundations. I need that means I need you. Be a stone brick. There we go. Right, so that comes out there. One, two, three diagonals, and then back one, two, and then we got that. Okay. And this is where the wall's going to be, the main wall of the building. 
So here we can literally come down and put these in place. And it's going to be a straight edge here anyway, because I want to go straight into the edge of the building. Like that. So this is a nice wide area. We'll put some chests here just for like the dumping storage and maybe maybe spare armor and whatnot. Because it'll be all over here. This is a storage after all. Uh, and then it'll go back into the main storage building, which will have access to like the automated sorting systems and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Also, oh, this room could be multi-purpose. We could put maybe bits of a thing in here. But yeah, uh, I also don't want you to be there. I might well, I might go with having the double door, but with I want doors here, so I might have the might go with proper wooden doors, or I might go iron doors, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, to cover the same pattern, it was one, two, three, four diagonals and then back. Four diagonals and then back. One, two, three, four diagonals and then straight back into line with that. Double gap for the door. So, I'm gonna get myself an iron. I'm gonna get myself a bucket. I need a bucket. It's a fast way to get rid of this grass. Grass is, is, is annoying. In case you're wondering, I have buckets downstairs for uh, for lava, but I'm not gonna go get them for watering. Bucket. Right, let's go get some water. But it's just, it's the best way to get rid of grass. This is so annoying. No, no, stop, no, no, stop it. No! Uh, where'd that water go? That's better. Right, and then level, light levels. Okay, so, we've got the sort of preliminary piece. We also have dark spots right now. Thank you. In here. Could you not have dark spots? Great, thanks. Uh, we did put down a lot of uh, water to help with the, with the grass issue. That did, unfortunately, get rid of a lot of our light. Because, you know, water and torches, don't, they don't mix very well. Right, this area here, I'm going to leave this semi-dark. Because I'm still building on it. But, uh, no, you know what? I don't like knowing it's dark. There we go. Alright, uh, you can be fine. So we've got this internal PC. This needs to be entirely uh, flawed. And I'm thinking we'll just stone slab this area. Because I really like stone slabs on this sort of stuff. Right, so that's the, this is this piece. Now, let's get that personal crafting bench into action, shall we? Put you there. Uh, for convenience, you're gonna go there. And I'm gonna ask you to make, can I make, do you, is there a stone, plain stone stairs? There are not. To me, that's a, that's a lost thing because, yeah. Stone stairs could be amazing. Give me the equivalent of good stone stairs, which is the crappy stone stairs. Uh, I want you out here, and I want you up there, and I want you upside down. Did I ever mention how much I hate you sometimes? Good, I'm just making sure. Uh, there, there, and 
Can I have you have one? Yes, I can. I just have to remove you, but uh, I'm happy to do that. Because you're not the one that was annoying. There. We'll put some on top of there. I'm um, not sure what yet, but we'll put some on top of there. It will probably want lighting. He says he's not be able to see anything, so... There we go. We have lighting up there. Yeah, I want to put something up there, to, like, the, like, a, like a storage icon or something. It's kind of what the granite's there for as a backing for it. Okay, let's get this uh, leveled up a little bit. So I want these guys here, these diagonals, to go all the way up. Little impressive, impressive, oppressive edges going up here, going that way, and then I want glass obviously on the edges so you can see out of it. Boop, boop. So here you're going to be out of those. That's why I brought more stone with me. Boop. Right. So I don't want it here because that's going to be glass. Here it has to be this or these. And then... Ah! There we go. That's... Damn it. Made it one, one too high. Out. I'm going to be a door in there, you see. Uh, you, boop, boop, will be a door there. So we can go into the storage system, storage area itself. That's kind of the plan. This is just a, an entrance to the storage area. Yeah. So you walk in, storage area, go into the main storage, or go into, like, temporary storage. Good. Give me the glass. Glass, 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 glass. So here... You saw nothing. Here, you'd have glass. Nice big pane windows. They got a pane because of how, the, how annoying they have to install, in case you're wondering. It's a true fact there. Uh, here, you're going to need some of these guys going up. Remember to get that off my hotbar. Uh, that's to get starting to get annoying. At least be a bit bigger windows. Normally, I only do two high, but let's go three high on the windows. Well, if you're there, I might have to use that as a scaling point. There we go. Nice, nice bigger wing windows looking out. So we're too high, and we'll, we'll elevate it up a little bit there. Okay. That means on this side, we're going to need to put what one, two, three, four high on the edge here. One, two, three, four high on the edge, and then this side would be three high. One, two, three high. Then you would go back, back, back. Back, and I'll probably put a stair there at some point just to uh, fill it in. But that means you will go like that, like that, like that. Okay, and that means you obviously will be that, and then you will do the same, like that. Yeah, uh, you're gonna need to come back at that level. Because we need to roof you at some point, and you need to be at least level for roofing purposes. Then we'll probably stare this and have this little elevation in the roof. Yeah. Okay, so this part here is going to need to do the same, but this is going to be one giant window either side. Oh, elephants, why? Everybody knows. I told them all already. That will go there, and then. I'm not sure what to do with them. A little transition there, I'm not sure what though. Alright, what to do here? Well, let's first of all, let's get these gla this glass in. Uh, yeah, might as well do glass up to here. Nice big window into the storage system itself. I keep saying system, it's not a system, it's a storage building, it's a storage facility. The system would come later. So five might be no five is not enough for uh, for more pains. Oh. Next episode we need to get food up and running properly. So next episode will probably be a chicken farm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 
Ba-da-ba-da. You in there. I keep one of you there. I keep two two stacks on me because I'm going to be building and I need to stain that glass as well uh, for the next next piece. And I don't actually need any more glass after this little window for this building. So what I've got on me right now is overkill for the, like the four pieces that I need. So I saw you try that. No, the torch is over there. You can go there. All right, so here, what do we do here? Um, I honestly think we do the granite. I think they have the granite here. It may not work out. It may not work out at all. But I kind of like that two-tone. It's a, I think it's a three-tone because of the building, but I kind of like it. I'm not sure that that one, but the one on the main door I like. What do you think about there, guys? Should we slab up, keep the granite? I have a line of granite and the stone coming in, maybe. Ooh. Maybe keep that, so it's like a little line of granite. Okay, that looks better, but what do you think about these? Uh, what, could, what should I do there? But anyway, that's uh, that's, that's this piece done. Now I'm just going to get up there and do the uh, the whole, you know. So you know. Is the other showing off? Elephants. Show-offs. Uh, let's get up there. Um, this needs roofing now. Let's uh, go and look at it from a distance. This is today's build, is the first piece of the storage area. Tomorrow, tomorrow, next episode. Um, I'm personally thinking we, ooh, I'm personally thinking we don't continue the storage system in the next episode. Next episode, we get a reliable food supply from running. Chicken farm. So a nice little redstone chicken farm. Uh, up and running probably near the house or you know, maybe in that area there. Uh, and then episode after that we come back here and we finish off the foundation piece for this um, this building. So I want iron doors on the front for obvious reasons uh, here and then probably maybe acacia doors um, here because I really like the acacia doors. Bright orange with the slats you can see right through them but uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, next up is that, uh, maybe you really need more food, well, what do you need, I suppose. But yeah, that'll be that, and then out his way we'll have the big story system, which is going to be quite nice actually. I just need to get some big trees so I can make a lot of chests. A lot of chests. Um, there's, I'm going to have way more chests than we actually need, let's put it that way. Um, it's planned to be huge. Huge, I tell you. Uh, where would be the best way to put the chicken farm? It doesn't need to be like, in the way. Um, I could build it into the wall. We have this nice big mountain here. We could literally come next to the, the cave and build it here. Or we could build it... Oh, actually, you know what? We have the uh, entrance to the house here. So how about you come out the house. You come this way. Story system's over there. Turn left. 
And then just here, next to the mine entrance, which will pretty up later on, I think. Actually, I think cobblestone looks nice for the mine, but it needs like maybe some mossy cobble. Uh, then maybe here we have the chicken farm. So it's near the house, but it's not so close to the house. It's near the storage system, but it's not going to feed into the storage system. Because I don't want the chicken in the storage system. Okay, that's what we're going to do. The chicken farm will be here next episode. All right. Well, that's going to be interesting and fun. But uh, until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the chicken farm. Surrounded on a ship of fools, sail away across the water, set the pace, then discover every ocean, every sea, forever.